Mamelodi Sound does receive overseas offer for exit his chief's target. Please, before we continue, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and just uh, to support our channel. Remember, it is uh, free of charge. Mamelodi Sound Downs are believed to be studying an overseas offer for a striker who's also recently interested his chiefs, according to a report. Chiefs wars in front of goal last season had been well documented, therefore it is no surprise that they were linked to Etios Igodaro ahead of the new season. Igodaro had quietly been going on about his business from cheaper and it is now looked as if he might never go back to Sundowns at all. That is because the latest report suggests that the player has attracted the interest of some top clubs from Serbia, not Africa as well as France. This comes after the Nigerian managed to score 10 goals in all competitions for a struggling cheaper side. Nine of goals have come in the league, with one coming in the Netbank Cup, quarterfinals 2-1 loss to Sikukuna United earlier this year. With Ecuador still waiting on Santos before making a decision on his future, now having seen the likes of Caleb Beminimana and Christian Siele firing blanks, it is believed that Chiefs had also decided to take a look at the 21 year old. But since their own reported signing of Oranga Chivaviro, Amakos was not linked to the downstar. In recent weeks, it was both Cheaper and Super Sport United who showed interest in. In him but now according to the latest report he has received an offer from Serbia. Partisan makes bid for Igodaro will Sundowns accept him while a Brazilian resisted the temptation to let go of Igodaro last year after returning from another loan at the University of Pretoria their resolve has been tested again Partisan have now put in an offer, having had 8.5 million turned down last year. It has not been three working days since the offer landed at Clock Corp, and it is now up to the decision makers at Clock Corp to make the call on Igadaru. Former Kaiser Chiefs defender CPO Mkonza says the club has lost its culture. Seems like he, he knows something deeper that many of us we do not know. As he said that in the past eight years, his chiefs had had about six different coaches and all they are facing the same problem. So he's saying that the issue they achieve can be even deeper and can be even more, meaning you can change the coaches, but the problem will remain. Konza says the chiefs have lost their culture. Former Keys Chiefs defender Simpium Konza believes the club is widely known for their dominant South African football on and off the field have lost their culture. However, having had six coaches in the past eight years doesn't bode well for a club of the stage of the Soweto Giants that helped on turning back to the glory days. We'll start the question the integrity of the coach because the coach has the trustees around them. But again, going back to Nabi and what he said on Nabi, I said if you look at his success in Tanzania, very impressive success in Tanzania. I mean double trouble. He has done so well but again if you look at case chiefs in the last eight years they have six coaches and those six coaches also reflect the problem is not only the coaches Con the tall sports night another element of the Soweto giants that has been so often criticized is the caliber of players that they bring on board as quiet as few past and present having risen to the fore it's a big turnaround for a club like chiefs that means it is very unstable. Chiefs have lost their culture and that's why even their recruitment policy, they just sign any type of a player that doesn't fit into the way they play or the system of how they need to play him, Konza said.